Greetings from Ripper the Clown from Ripper the Clown Show on YouTube.com. Now let me ask you a question. How many hours of your life have you pissed away in the greeting card aisle searching for a card for that special someone? And by special someone, I mean an asshole. Yes, we all have assholes in our life where and for whom we're forced to buy greeting cards out of obligation. And with assholes, it's hard and time consuming to find the right card because none of the loving, caring verses are ever appropriate. And I personally believe that it molests part of our soul whenever we're forced to send an untruthful, disingenuous card to someone we freaking hate. That's why Ripper the Clown has created a new specialized line of greeting cards called the Honesty Collection, allowing us to tell assholes exactly what we think of them. Here's one of my favorites. It's a birthday card. Look at the front with those happy little piggy pals. Aren't they cute? Mm. Now I'm going to read you the inside verse. <clears throat> Life is wonderful and full of unexpected perks but knowing you is regrettable because you're an insufferable jerk. You're a colossal asshole, that's for sure, a pain that's impossible to cure. But not wishing you a happy birthday would leave me forlorn, even though it's a tragedy that you were ever born. I hope your special day is a monumental hit. Spend your birthday spreading misery, you special piece of shit. Now this card is specially priced at 99 cents and will be available at retailers nationwide. Just look in the birthday asshole section of the card aisle. And you know what? When two assholes get married, you're going to need a wedding card. <clears throat> love is grand. Love is great. You're a couple I love to hate. Eight and a half, half months pregnant, so you're going to marry. If you think I'm buying a baby gift too, you're quite contrary. We all hope your union is fine and dandy. Some advice? Keep blank restraining orders handy. What a joyous happy day for bride and groom. She's mentally defective and he looks like a goon. The cake looks great. Save me a slice. Your piss poor choices have ruined your life. As husband and wife, you will create tons of muck. But to be honest, I don't give a... Who? <laughs> this card has a major, major misprint. And you know what? As the years progress, you're going to have to buy those assholes anniversary cards. <clears throat> Two losers got together in a marriage that's vile. Feigning enthusiasm and positivity cramps my style. We've stood back and watched your romantic journey, wondering when you'll hire a divorce attorney. The betting pool is stacked. We're all itching. If you could give me a tip, it'd be really bitching. I hate to curse your marriage with ill will, but winning the money would give me a thrill. Happy anniversary. And check this out. The happy little piggy pals are back, this time with an I'm sorry card. <clears throat> I'm sorry we fought, I really am, but this obligatory card is really a sham. You caused the problems like you did last time, then you act all innocent and talk like a mime. Your borderline personality disorder stinks, you're irrational, disturbed, and paranoid, methinks. You fight with everyone, your logic is hazy. To put it simply, you're batshit crazy. Admit your guilt and stop playing the game. I'm tired of wanting peace and accepting blame. I'm sorry. Now, you know what? This card is very special to me. It actually spawned the Honesty Collection. A few years ago, I wrote this for my ex-girlfriend, Bethany. I was sending it to her like once a week. And we also have congratulations cards. Now, I've never understood why ugly people reproduce, but never fear, because the Honesty Collection has birth cards for parents with ugly babies. <clears throat> Your genetic material commingled? God damn, what were you thinking? I hope the kid's brain's okay considering all your drug use and drinking. If I said your baby was cute, I'd look like a fool. I guess you probably love it, and that's pretty cool. And here is a very special card. It's a thank you card. <clears throat> thank you for hating me. Thank you for resenting me. Thank you for fearing me. Thank you for being threatened by me. Thank you for looking like a fool when you try to bury me. Thanks again. Your jealousy flatters me. Love, Ripper the Clown. Now, this card is actually not available in stores. It's the card that I hand out to comedians after I do comedy shows. They, they always really appreciate this one, and it's just always so apropos. Who has had a stalker? We also offer non-gender specific cards for the stalker in your life. <clears throat> your interest is flattering, I guess but you're obviously a freaking mess. You're creeping me out. Leave me alone. Please don't email, visit, or phone. 
This is simple and shouldn't be confusing. I have a gun that I don't mind using. Now, in my lifetime, I could have used this card at least a dozen times. And just so you know, my, my choice of gun is a Pillman 9mm. <clears throat> and coming soon from the Rip of the Clown Honesty Collection, sympathy cards for families of assholes. Now, you could tell grieving families just what their dead asshole meant to you. And writing the verses for the Sympathy series, one of the stanzas stands out to me. It's extremely emotional. It's extremely touching. And I'm going to present it to you right now. I just need to gather myself for a few seconds because it always chokes me up. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> I think I'm ready. <clears throat> After all I did for the old bat, she died and didn't leave me a dime. Just so you know, that man-sized pile of crap on her grave is probably mine. <sighs> Heart-wrenching. The preceding advertisement has been paid for by the Ripper the Clown Honesty Collection. I'm Ripper the Clown, and hello, I must be going. <laughs>